There are moments and seasons in life that a man can't possibly prepare for when he's dropped into combat without warning. I faced a season like that, a season when I was dropped into a battle that I hadn't signed up for, when I had to face down fear and embrace a different kind of courage to step up and to lead others through the valley. Our daughter, um, Rebecca, and um, her husband, Jake, gave birth to their first firstborn child. Her name was Molly. We called her Mighty Molly. It was clear from the beginning that uh, she had serious medical issues. In fact, she only lived uh, seven days. I, uh, I knelt beside her and uh, I read her a letter that I'd written to her. Mighty Molly, I just met you. I feel cheated. I don't want to say goodbye. I, I know I'll likely see you in a couple of decades or so. In the light of eternity, it won't be long, really. Still, I don't want to say goodbye. Your seven days sure brought a lot of joy to your mom and dad's face. Your parents loved you well. God couldn't have given you a better set of parents. Courageous parents. They have loved you with a sacrificial love that only a very few little girls like you ever get to experience. I love you, your papa. In the seven days of Molly's life, we were all allowed to spend a little time. And um, one of the things that I did was I have her handprint on my life verse, Psalm 112, one and two. Praise the Lord, blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commandments. His offspring will be mighty in the land the generation of the upright will be blessed. I don't have a lot of possessions that are uh, priceless, but this is one, my Bible. I was called to do my duty in the valley as a man, husband, father, and a grandfather. Men, God's going to call you to do some courageous things. And what he does, regardless of the assignment, do your duty.